Hey everybody, welcome to Cut Transform Glue. So, in this video I'm going to finish the build of this scratch build robot. And let's begin with the painting process. I didn't came up with any specific color scheme for this model, but I felt from the beginning that the legs needed to be darker and to be more precise I felt like the legs need to be like a gradient from the bottom. So I begin by mixing a really dark gray for the bottom of the leg and from there I went mixing some lighter grays for the rest of the legs that you're going to see in a minute. In a way I kind of got inspired by those foxes that have the legs darker than the body but in a gray scale. And it looks glossy now because it's glossy paint but by the end I will just apply a coat of matte finish to make the whole thing look more like a model and less like a toy. And now with the first color masked and protected I can work on the next section which will be on a just a slightly lighter grey. And these are the first two colors and I don't know if you can see but the difference between them is really small because I'm aiming for a smooth gradient from the bottom up. There was also some damage caused by the masking tape but that's okay because I'm going to put some more colors on it and then I will make a deep wash in the end so this is not a big deal at the moment. Now with the middle section of the leg painted you can better see the gradient building up and from there I just had to paint the final segment of the leg. And since I was already working with the dark grays, I decided to paint the radar. I wanted the radar to be darker on the back and a metal color on the front. And to make this metal color, I decided to try this nail polish that I found some days ago. I find the result of this nail polish to be really interesting. It is not too shiny or anywhere close to a chrome finish, but it's also not matte finish, so it is somewhere in between and I like the result. Then I could start working on the body and I wanted the bottom of it to be a little darker than the rest. I mixed a lighter grey for the sides. And another one for the top. To make the parts more interesting and the details to pop, I decided to paint some parts and some panels in different shades of grey. And in some areas I also used that nice nail polish to get that bare metal effect. Thank you. 
Then I made the air vents black to represent the effects of the heat. And I also did that on the leg joints. This is like the camera and the sensor for the robot, so I painted it in metal color as well. And the quote unquote backpack, I felt it needed to be darker than the body. I felt that the sides were a bit boring, so I decided to give it some panels in different shades of grey. And once they were dry, I just rubbed some alcohol against it to make the chipping effect. I didn't want the model to be all grey, so I gave it a orange accent color. This robot is not symmetrical, so I'm freely adding colors where I see it, they are needed. And again, rubbing alcohol against the edges makes for a nice wearing effect. Now that all the colors are done, I just had to apply a coat of glossy varnish before moving on to the weathering process. I am making an acrylic wash for this project because it's quicker this will mess the glossy varnish but that's okay because in the end I will apply the final coat of matte finish to the whole thing this part of the process is very straightforward Apply the dirtiness with the brush and then clean it and then repeat this process until you feel like this is in a good place.
After the wash, I like to make a fake chipping effect, which consists of mixing a dark metal color and dabbing it with a sponge against the edges and against the parts that you feel like are going to be chipped in a real model. If you guys want to know more about this fake chipping effect, leave me a comment and maybe I can make a tutorial video for you guys. And after the wash and the chipping, the final coat of matte varnish is applied and the painting process is done. So now I can start adding the final details to this model and in this case the wires. I love adding wires to my sci-fi models, it makes the whole thing look cool and more convincing, but also makes it look a little improvised. There were needed some thin steel to keep the wires in place. And now I'm adding the final detail to this piece. This is a laser diode from an old DVD player. And this is my scratch built robot. I'm very happy with the end result. This was the first time that I tried using some random laser cut pieces in my projects. So I gotta expand on that and try to make more projects like this. This is it for this video guys. And if you like what you saw here please subscribe to this channel, leave me a like below. And if you wanna see more photos, make sure to follow me on Instagram, links are in the description box below. And of course, thanks for watching.